Hey guys, Sean here at Mahalo.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the Photosynth feature inside Windows Live Photo Gallery. Alright, and I'm going to show you guys a cool new feature you might not know that's available for Windows Live Photo Gallery. Simply open Windows Live Photo Gallery. That's something kind of cool. If we go down to we go down to create and then click on more tools you can click on download more photo tools then here we have auto collage image composite editor and photosynth if you just click on photosynth and then download that and install it you'll be presented with now when you click on more tools you can create a photosynth so let's do that now, I wouldn't really want to do a photo synth myself because that's kind of boring. Now, what I have here is 150 photos of a Tesla that I like to add to this photo synth. And the more photos you have of your photo synth, the better chance of getting a good 3D image. Also, objects that are textured work better as well. So, as far as a car with a glossy paint job, it's kind of hard. Then just give it a title. Then just hit synth. And this synth will compile itself locally on your computer and then upload it into your photo synth gallery. Now let's check out the synth I've created. And here we go. All 150 images have been compiled into one photo synth. And you simply just log in with your Windows Live account to check out your own photo synth. What you can do, for example, in this one, with the arrows I have here, I can rotate around the object going from photo to photo. And with the photos I've taken, I can almost do a 360 degree move. Another nice feature as well is the fact that you can zoom in really far on any of these images. Just like this. Just to let you know the detail you can have within your images. Now, a couple tips for if you were to create your own photo synth. On objects like this one, stay at the same height and only move slightly between each photo. So you have a lot of photos that are at the same height and distance from the object you're trying to do an image of. And as well as the 3D mode, you can also view from a top down. This shows you the points it was tracking and where the picture was taken from. And also 2D, simply the images, and then back to our 3D view. And while in the 3D view, you can still move around the object, not in a 3D mode. And there you go, that's a really simple and easy tool that's free to add on to your Windows Live Photo Gallery. So there you go, you now know how to use the Photosynth tool inside of Windows Live Photo Gallery. So if you wanted, you could take a bunch of pictures of an object and create a 3D image out of it. Now if you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. And thanks for watching.